The Venice Film Festival has been heating up, and of course, we had to start talking about our favorite picks from the carpet. Here are five so far, because this is not over. The Venice Film Festival no. is still going on. And the best part about it is often fashion. It really is. It's so exquisite, it's so glamorous, so sparkly in the looks that we're about to show you guys. And it's, it's fun. Basically, the Venice Film Festival is like a series of giant movie premieres yes. over and over and over. So you have tons and tons of stars coming out to promote their huge project on this big, big world stage. Mm -hmm. So they're big, big looks. Big, big looks. Big, Should big we looks. Start with Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Okay. Body in this dress looks amazing. This is a Jessica Rabbit moment. To yes. Me. And I actually like, this is what I love about Scarlett Johansson is that she's so beautiful. Yeah. But she always, she never just wants to look pretty. She wants to look pretty, but like edgy or cool or more like herself. So she always adds like a little edge to her look. In this case, I think it's her hair. Just yes. kind of giving it that wet, messy, pushed back look and let the dress do the talking for itself. She is radiating on this carpet. Like she is stunning. I also don't think I ever noticed that she had quite as many ear piercings as she has. I actually didn't notice that either. I mean, I've noticed the tattoo, speaking yes. of edge on the back, but that's really on full display in this instance. And this is a Celine by Eddie Slamon gown. Yes, look at um, that slit. The slit is perfect. Like the, the color is so mm -hmm. beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong in a red gown, especially it, on a carpet like this. It's a little tricky though to do a red gown on a red carpet because you right. don't want you it don't to blend. Part of the carpet. But in this, with the how she did it with the sparkly dress and the shoes and the way she did her hair, I just think it's the perfect look, especially for Venice. Yes, she looks awesome. Yeah. All right, also edgy and glamorous at the same time, Ugh. Kristen Stewart, and she's wearing Chanel, and she's another one who like never compromises her personal style for what she's doing. Mm -hmm. She's wearing Chanel, which is the most like feminine, sophisticated brand you could possibly and think of. She loves Chanel, by the way. Loves. She wears Chanel all the time. I believe she was a Chanel spokesperson. Yes. Is. I think she might still be an yes. ambassador. Yes. And kind of same thing with the edgy hair, right? And the makeup. And the makeup. Her makeup yes. looks so cool. We were just talking about Euphoria and like how the how that's totally changed the makeup game recently. Perfect example of that. Perfect example. I also love that this gown is long sleeve, is all the way down to the carpet. It's kind of a high neck. Um, but yet she still makes it look sexy somehow. Yes, she does. She wears clothes really effortlessly. Yes. All right, speaking of wearing clothes effortlessly, this might be my favorite look I've seen uh. so far. Timothy Chalamet, and he's been wearing suits by um, designer Hader, Hader Ackerman for almost the whole film festival so far, but this one has to be my favorite. I think when it comes to fashion, Timothy has really changed the game. Totally. Carpet after carpet, he has so much fun with his looks and what he's going for in terms of color, in terms of pattern. I look at the boots and how he kind of cuffed those yes. pants. It's just so forward, futuristic thinking. Like, like it's not a classic look. Not at all, but it's, it's like the tailoring on this suit is so impeccable. I would love to wear this suit. I yeah. love that it has a belt. I love that it has this shirt underneath it that it feels very androgynous, but still totally appropriate. Mm -hmm. He's so, and like, I was just saying this earlier, he's so <laughs> beautiful. Stunning. Like, he, he pulls off clothes like a model. Look so at he, his cheekbones. Right? Like, who like, are you, Timothy? He <laughs> glows. But I, you know, a lot of people have been saying on the internet about how those, the pants are not cuffed quite perfectly, and why aren't his pants cuffed perfectly? And that's a look that his, is indicative of his um, designer, of, of Hader Ackerman, um, you know, wearing things kind of in, with an ease to them. Like, yes. they don't have to be perfect. I honestly don't think I would like this as much if they were perfectly cuffed. Right. This, it's a little more fun. It's a little more youthful. He's a young guy. I think this is perfect the way he's done it. It's so cool. Yeah. I, I really am getting excited about award season now because I cannot wait uh, to see what he pulls out. He always does something fun, for sure. All right. Ooh. Lily Rose Depp. Who's been romantically linked to Timothy, might which, I add. Which is an interesting transition to go from one to the other. Yep. But here's, both very fashionable. Right. <laughs> and, and both models. Yes. So Here's sunny. Lily Rose Depp in Chanel. She's also an ambassador and face of Chanel. So we see her in the brand quite a lot, but she shows us also how Chanel is really youthful mm -hmm. and can be super, super sexy and not just about, you know, tweed suits, even though this is technically a tweed suit yeah. <laughs> that well, she's wearing. A lot of pinks, a lot of reds in yeah. the vest. Like very romantic. I love it. Colors, which you wouldn't necessarily think of when you're going into fall. Right. You know? But I kind of love this. I think she looks amazing in pink. She also has like those rosy cheekbones and that nude lip and kind of ties it all together. Um, she has the perfect body for this. 
she looks. And the bright white shoe. Yeah, and the shoe, which I, we just talked about. Yeah. yeah. White shoes never going away, no. I feel like. Speaking of white, uh, Penelope Cruz was a complete vision in white. Oh. She is wearing gosh. a gown by Ralph and Russo, and she she has a definite red carpet style. She likes a gown. She likes something with volume. Over the top glamour. Very she glamorous. She likes to stand out. But she also wears something that's like, you mm -hmm. know, body conscious. You can see her body a little bit, but it's never overt. She's she's a, an old school, like, glamazon on the carpet. Yes, absolutely agree with that. Um, I love that she pulled her hair back with this. You can really see the detail on the shoulders, how one is kind of off the shoulder, that's one so goes pretty. over the shoulder. Um, you see the glitz on like the bodice of the dress and then Tool, like so much so tool much happening tool. here. She looks like a uh, ballerina times 10 <laughs> glamazon. This is like I'm major wedding her. inspo. That's what we were just we saying. Were, yes, we were yes. just saying like this, if, I would be pinning the crap out of this look if I, I was If I ever get married, I'm wearing this dress. <laughs> it's, it's so perfect, it fits her I love beautifully. It. it fits her like a glove, absolutely. And that's not the last. We're gonna see a lot more from the Venice Film Festival, but until then, so far, top five. I just can't wait to see what else we see. I know, me yeah, too. I get excited about it. Let us it. know which one's your favorite, you guys, and follow us on Instagram to let us know at Entertainment Tonight.